Dust, Blood, and Gold, a Western Thriller. In the sun-baked Arizona Territory, the desolate town of Redemption stood as a haunting echo of its former glory. Whispers of hidden gold, concealed within the walls of the abandoned Last Chance Saloon, ignited a spark of greed in the hearts of those desperate enough to risk their lives. Into this unforgiving landscape rode Jake's two guns McCready, a weary cowboy haunted by his past, seeking a chance at redemption. Jake's arrival didn't go unnoticed. The townsfolk, their faces hardened by the harsh desert life, watched him with a mix of curiosity and suspicion. But there was another pair of eyes tracking his every move, those of a black heart Bart Callahan, a ruthless outlaw whose greed burned hotter than the desert sun. As Jake settled into the dilapidated saloon that now served as his temporary abode, the weight of his past pressed down on him. Memories of a life marred by violence and loss haunted his dreams. Yet, amidst the darkness, a flicker of hope remained. The whispers of gold offered a chance to right his wrongs, to carve a new path. Callahan, drawn by the same whispers of gold, arrived in redemption with his gang of desperados. Their presence cast a long shadow over the town, their intentions as clear as the steel on their hips. The townsfolk, caught between the ruthless outlaw and the enigmatic stranger, braced themselves for the impending storm. Jake, sensing the danger, found himself drawn to the plight of the townsfolk. He formed an uneasy alliance with them, his sense of honor and his yearning for redemption pushing him to stand against Callahan's tyranny. But trust was a precious commodity in redemption, and suspicions ran deep. A deadly game of cat and mouse ensued. Callahan, driven by his insatiable greed, employed every dirty trick in the book to uncover the hidden gold. Jake, relying on his wits and his honed instincts, countered Callahan's every move, protecting the innocent and keeping the secret of the gold safe. The tension reached its peak one sweltering afternoon. Callahan, his patience worn thin, cornered Jake in the abandoned saloon. The air crackled with anticipation as the two men faced off, their pasts and their futures colliding in a maelstrom of dust and gunpowder. The saloon erupted in a cacophony of gunfire. Bullets whizzed through the air, splintering wood and shattering glass. Jake, his movements as swift as a striking rattlesnake, fought with the ferocity of a man with nothing left to lose. Callahan, his eyes blazing with madness, matched Jake's every move, his greed fueling his rage. When the dust settled, the saloon was a scene of devastation. Bodies lay scattered amidst the debris, silent testimonies to the brutal conflict. Jake, wounded but alive, stood amidst the carnage, his gaze fixed on Callahan's lifeless form. The gold, still hidden within the walls, remained untouched, its secret safe. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a blood-red hue over redemption, Jake surveyed the scene. The weight of his past had been lifted, replaced by a newfound sense of purpose. He had faced his demons and emerged victorious, not through the pursuit of gold, but through the pursuit of redemption. The wind whispered through the broken windows of the saloon, carrying the echoes of the battle and the promise of a new beginning. Jake, his heart filled with a bittersweet blend of sorrow and hope, turned his back on the carnage and rode into the sunset, leaving behind the dust, the blood, and the gold. His journey was far from over, but he was ready to face whatever lay ahead, armed with the knowledge that redemption, like the desert sun, could rise again, even from the darkest of nights. The desert night enveloped redemption, casting long shadows that danced with the flickering flames of the burning saloon. Jake, his wounds tended to by the grateful townsfolk, sat alone, contemplating the events of the day. The taste of victory was bittersweet, tinged with the sorrow of lives lost and the echoes of gunfire still ringing in his ears. As the night deepened, Jake made a decision. He gathered the townsfolk and, under the cloak of darkness, they began the arduous task of dismantling the saloon's walls, brick by brick, searching for the elusive treasure. The air crackled with anticipation, each strike of the pickaxe a potential revelation. Finally, after hours of relentless labor, a hollow sound resonated through the night. A gasp swept through the crowd as a hidden compartment was revealed, its contents gleaming under the moonlight, a chest overflowing with gold coins and nuggets. The townsfolk erupted in jubilation, their faces etched with disbelief and gratitude. But Jake remained stoic, his gaze fixed on the treasure. He knew this gold, stained with the blood of innocent lives, could not bring true redemption. 
It was a symbol of greed, a reminder of the darkness that had plagued their lives. With a heavy heart, Jake addressed the townsfolk. He spoke of the sacrifices made, the lives lost, and the need to break the cycle of violence and greed. The gold, he declared, would be used not for personal gain, but to rebuild redemption, to create a haven of peace and prosperity where the shadows of the past would no longer haunt them. The townsfolk, their initial euphoria tempered by Jake's words, nodded in solemn agreement. The gold, once a symbol of division and conflict, now represented a chance for unity and renewal. Under Jake's guidance, they set about rebuilding their shattered town, their spirits bolstered by the promise of a brighter future. Weeks turned into months, and redemption began to rise from the ashes. New buildings sprung up, their sturdy frames a testament to the resilience of its people. The once desolate streets now bustled with activity, filled with the laughter of children and the hopeful chatter of adults. If you are enjoying adventure in the Old West, hit the subscribe button for